how are you? I uh, okay, but <laughs> it is going nice. We have got lovely weather. Not too hot. You do. Not cold. Yes, we do. So and, uh, we what? have. You know, this is a very London-like day here. It's gloomy. It's raining a lot. Uh, oh gosh. Is on in full swing. Um, yeah. I keep seeing pictures of my friends in London. And I'm very jealous. It's it's been so nice actually for the last ten days. We're loving it, but we know that years other than last for that nee, yeah, you can. Yeah, after so other day, but uh, but, uh, but good. I'm happy for you. Please make the most of it. <laughs> and I'm happy for your Gyara Gyara. Welcome to like a radio network, one of the largest radio networks in the UK. Absolutely. Um, is it? Is this about numbers? What's happening in Gyara Gyara? I mean, you're playing the part of Vamika. And मैंने कहीं सुना भी था या ऐसी सुना था एक्चुअली योर इंटरव्यूज के दिस केम एट द राइट टाइम फॉर यू यस आई थिंक दैट्स अ टाइम इज अ वेरी इंपोर्टेंट रोल इन द शो एस यू नो इट्स कॉल्ड ग्यारा ग्यारा व्हिच इज बेसिकली इलेवन इलेवन एंड अ लॉट ऑफ अस बिलीव इन मैनिफेस्टेशन वी बिलीव इन द इन यूनिवर्स अलाइनिंग एट ग्यारा � and even quantum physics yeah. in some way or the other keeps challenging the idea of time and space so uh, gyara gyara mm -hmm. as the name suggests is something that is a bit surreal uh, where uh, we have very okay. very real characters in a real world but there is a surreal element to it there's the fantasy element a sort of mystery which is that every time the clock strikes gyara gyara um two walkie talkies magically connect one of the walkie wow. talkies one one instrument is in 2016 and the other is in 1990 so it's almost like the past and present can communicate and that intel helps us solve murder cases that have been that were long buried uh oh, almost gosh. years ago that's so interesting because then you're playing two dimensions two time yes. zones then right yes so how does that work with uh with makeup how does that work with your looks how does that work then So since I'm, since you rightly pointed out, I am in both the dimensions. I'm in the past and I'm in the present as well. Uh, it was important for us to differentiate my look. In the past, you mm -hmm. see me as a young, uh, newly uh, recruited police officer, a little yeah. not so confident, still finding her feet, a bit nervous, very naive sort of a person. So there is a certain hair and makeup look that we've gone for. And then, even though the transformation is not very, uh, you know, drastic in the present day life, there is. a different body language that i don there is a, mm -hmm. a a more mature way of conducting myself or how of how i dress in my hair and makeup and hair and makeup are beautiful tools to differentiate uh, you know characters or time time yeah. lines even uh, but apart from that i had to work on my body language in the way that the character speaks or conducts herself in the two timelines because it is the evolution of one person But they're yeah. fifteen years apart, and uh, a lot changes in fifteen years, as we all know. Yeah, of course. I mean, you know, you didn't come into acting; didn't come. You know, it was like an accidental um, thing for you. So, how are you finding this now? Because, you know, I I feel that you're so talented, and I've seen your you, you know your shows before as well. Uh, how is the progress going for you now? Easy now? So for me, I'm so glad I stumbled upon it. It was almost like um, it was like love at first sight. How people yeah. you know randomly meet someone and fall in love, and they're happy, yeah. and and they hope for a happy ever after. Uh, uh, for me, my my tryst with acting, my love with acting is very similar. I chanced upon it. I instantly, absolutely fell uh, head over heels for films and filmmaking, and yeah. uh, and the relationship is going well. It's had its ups and downs, but uh, we're still together. We're going strong, and there's a long way to go. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure you have many more years to go now. Well, what's this I hear about you driving? You're learning to drive whilst you're shooting the film. Is, is, or... Has Raghav said something to you? Is this Raghav that's putting me up to this? <laughs> no, 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 no. We, 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 um, we, we did, we did interview him as well. <laughs> so... Yes. Did he talk about my driving? Because he loves to do that. <laughs> he did. He did talk about your driving. Yes. yes. So uh, that uh, that I know what he's exactly what he's talking about, and it's absolutely true. So I, you know, I had to take driving lessons for uh, my part here because I drive a police vehicle, which is a, which is an old sort of SUV that is a manual SUV, and I straight had to drive those in the hills of Dehradun and Masuri, their hill stations. Wow. We had to do some chase yeah. scenes, stop the car at strange points, 
and you know uh, driving on those slopes is not easy so for somebody who's no. not from the hills i was it was a new territory for me and uh, raga who who is from dehradun that's his hometown um to my advantage he was in the car with me most of the times that we did these scenes so he was uh, delegated the duty of pulling the handbrake or changing gears for me while i uh, looked all tough and uh, badass on screen <laughs> but that's quite tough cuz you you you're learning to drive and then you're kind of like concentrating and you, you know you if you if you don't know how to drive your expressions are quite like stressful because yeah, get them na gir jaye ke udhar na ho jaye absolutely city drive is different in automatic cars you don't really have to do anything but a manual car in those terrains yeah. with barely any light on the street with cameras attached to your vehicle and you're responsible for your co-actor uh, the immensely popular Ra- Ra- raghav's uh, life uh you yeah. got to be careful you know <laughs> so there was a lot right yeah. with me i mean i'm glad they gave me this uh, they had they put their confidence in me and everybody safe and sound and all went well but uh, it was it was definitely <laughs> nerve wracking for for uh, for me those times it's and yes and let me just just for information i mean it's nothing to do with gara gara but I, as a uh, i'm a radio presenter but i'm also a, a qualified driving instructor as well wow. so when i heard this <laughs> I thought like that you I, been, Rudy, I needed you like <laughs> one year back <laughs> Exactly exactly it's so fun to teach someone driving to see so, their facial expression me, right you understand what i'm saying like you Totally yeah. It's i mean i see my i see my students and their faces like and i have to say that you know Juna give me a smile do you want to smile a bit <laughs> so i totally understand that it's yeah. great um, finally i want to ask you um so you know we talked about two dimensions and uh, i thought let me just check with you so if you were in current dimension now and you had to talk to yourself say 15 years ago what would you tell yourself uh i would tell myself to be a bit more fearless um mm. i'm way more fearless now i think i take risks now i am confident in my skin i am okay to not fit in i am okay to make unconventional choices growing Great. up as women um you know you're always told to be agreeable you're told to be you know um uh, friendly compromise. and accommodating and compromising yeah. and always put mm. others before you and we see sure. that with our mothers with our grandmothers and just even though my parents uh you know ra- raised me just like they raised my brother um there this is a subconscious thing that is kind of passed on and it takes generations for it to go away but i think uh, mm. today knowing that uh you can be yourself and you can choose to put yourself before anything or anybody else without being selfish that's the learning yeah. that only life has taught me and i didn't know back then so i'd like to uh, tell myself that i would have been easy on myself and forgiven myself no oh, and that that shows your confidence now because you know just the way you're saying that as, as well because it's not easy because if you if you don't if you're lacking that a little bit it's easy yeah. for someone who who someone who's confident easy for to say you know girl ona but somebody who doesn't have the confidence it's much harder to tell tell them they're going to be yeah, like and no. you know that makes me wonder if my younger self if younger if younger me would even take this seriously i don't <laughs> think i would it's because life has taught me i can say this with conviction but that conviction comes from experience i don't think when we today when i tell my younger brother something or my niece or somebody something i don't think they take it seriously because yeah. that's just life where things some things just come with experience and uh, yeah. just let's enjoy the journey i guess Yeah, definitely. So it's releasing on August the ninth uh, yes. on Z Five Global. Uh, we wish you all the best. And oh, thank you. So if, you much. If, if you do need driving lessons, I'll teach you. <laughs> Next time I'm in I'm in the UK. I'm going to ring you up, and uh, uh, let's see. Maybe you can help me with uh, with left hand drive. You know. Yeah, we part of it. Yeah, that's yeah. something I need lessons for. So uh, okay, let's do that great. when we meet next. But please watch Gara <laughs> Gara on ninth of August and uh, and share your views. I I look forward to hearing what you think about it. I I'm so excited to see this one. Uh, you have a huge talented star cast with a great director as well. All the best. Good luck, and we mm-hmm. wish you success in your future projects as well. Thanks. Thanks a lot for talking to us. It means a lot. Thank you. Take care. Bye. Good luck. Bye. Bye. Bye.